before we continue the video, I just wanted to quickly show you this. I have a sheet called draw data here and it contains 41,716 records in it. I'm going to go into this output tab and click on this button. As you see, it instantly filtered records for me, uh, which contains year 2021 and variable code H01. Now let me change something here, 2013 and filtered. As you see, it's instantly filtering everything, right? If you're interested how I did that, keep watching. Advanced filters, as the name suggests, is one of the advanced functionalities within Excel, which makes it really easy to filter out large data set without any major lags. This enables the user to set a criteria and filter the data accordingly. But did you know that advanced filters can be integrated with VBA to generate mind blowing results while preparing an intuitive dashboard or quotes? We will see how a few lines of code, nine lines to be exact, can create a standalone tool to filter out large data sets. And the best part is that once you write this code, you would not have to change the code even if the data set gets changed. Let's see how it's done. It's not a game. It's a <laughs> Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques business intelligence platforms and much much more so let's go okay so what we have here is a data set from the new zealand state website and it is a 2013 census mesh block business data and the csv file can be downloaded from the links that i have pasted in the description so what we're going to do with this data today so we are going to see how to integrate advanced filters with VBA to generate filtering capabilities for user which is faster and more user friendly than the traditional method. Now we will do this with just nine lines of code and make it a universal application which will work with any data set. And the best part about it is once you've written that code, it will not require any code changes going forward because it can work with any data set, right? So let me quickly show you how to set, set up the workbook and then we'll jump onto the code. So first and foremost thing, obviously the CSV that you downloaded from the links, you can paste it in a sheet and name that sheet as raw data. Um, the reason being in the code, uh, I have given that same name in case you want to name it a different name, give it a diff different name, then you can do so, but you would have to make the changes in the code accordingly then in that case. But just to follow along, uh, you can give the same name, okay? Uh, so this is the raw data sheet and then I have a secondary sheet which is called output and in that output section right now it is blank but I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this column header from the raw data into the output section and I'm going to paste it in the B, uh, B1 cell so that it starts from B1 and I'll tell you why I'm starting it from B1 okay. Let me just format it just for better visibility. Now I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a shape here. And I'm going to name this shape or maybe enter text which will say filter data. Okay. Give it a color and maybe just align it properly. And that's it. And I'm going to place it here. Okay. All right. Now the sheet preparation part is done. Now we can straight away go to the code and I'll tell you what you need to enter. Exactly. Let me go to the VB editor and the way that we go to the VB editor is press the alt and F 11 and it will take you to the VB editor, which looks like this. And by the way, in case uh, you're not familiar with the VBA interface, uh, I have other videos uh, where I've shown you how to get into this interface. So you might want to view that after this video. For now, we just click on Alt plus F11 and it will take you to this window. Now in here, first thing that you need to do is insert, click on insert and click on module. The moment you click on module, it will insert a new module into this, as you can see here, and it will also open up a code window here. And this is where we have to write our codes. We're going to write 
just nine line of quotes and i'm going to comment it so that you can refer to that code later on and understand what each and every line is doing okay we're going to start with a sub statement and i'm going to say advanced filter code we're going to write our code block within this um sub procedure first one that we're going to first thing that we're going to do is declare variables right for using as range and worksheet so first one would be the range let's say input rng as range output rng as range criteria rng as range by the way we can declare multiple variables just by you know writing multiple variables together with a comma separated uh, value and then as a range i can do that as well but just to make simpler for you to understand what i'm doing i'm writing it separately um then second bit of it is to declare the worksheets so wks1 worksheet as worksheet and wks2 as worksheets okay so the worksheet declaration and range declaration is done so two line of two lines of codes are done now next thing that we are going to do is we are going to define the worksheets against these variables that we just declared right so what we are going to do is set wks1 equal to this workbook dot sheets raw data since my first sheet name is raw data and set wks2 is equal to this workbook dot sheets output so in case you choose to name your sheets differently this is where you have to make those changes okay so four lines of code are done then what we're going to do is we're going to you know define the range basically right uh, we have already defined declared the variable for range but now we're going to def define the range what exact range that we would require so defining all required ranges for using in advanced filter okay set input range is equal to wks1 which we just you know declared and set range a1 dot current region now just to explain this code to you what this is doing is in our worksheet 1 which is a raw data it's uh, going to the first cell which is a1 and then checking what are cells are filled in the current region so it will take the entire range of cells that are there which has data in it and put that entire range into this input range okay similarly uh, cri criteria range equal to wks2 dot range now similar to the above statement this is also doing the same thing but this is working on the second sheet where we have pasted the headers of our raw data into the second sheet right this will serve as the criteria section for our filter in advanced filter okay and i'll show you how this will work so again as i said uh, the current region works in a way that it checks what all uh, you know cells are cells have values in it uh, in the current table and then the it selects the entire range and that entire range will be you know set into this variable that we have here then the last thing is output range where our values will be actually pasted okay second 
range and the value that I want to paste is in B15 okay the reason I've kept so much space in between is something that you know I'll explain later on uh, if you see I have the criteria in B1 but then the value starts uh, getting pasted into the output range from b15 right so i'm going to explain why i did that so till now we have uh, seven lines of code two more lines to go and then we are done okay uh, next thing is clearing any old data that we have in the output range okay so output range dot current region dot clear okay and then final thing where we are actually applying the advanced filter we're gonna you know uh, write this code so we're gonna say so i'm just commenting it so that you have a better idea when looking at it later on but advanced reading the advanced filter code okay so I'm going to say input input range dot advanced filter then we have a uh, we have a parameter which says filter copy or filter in place we're going to use excel filter copy criteria range comma output range okay and that's it our code is done once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to my excel sheet right click on the rectangle that we inserted earlier on and click on assign macros this is the new macro that we created which is advanced filter code the entire piece of block code block that we created right so it has that here now and what we can do is just click here and press ok now let's see what happens okay so i'm gonna play, press on this filter data as you see it automatically gone through this entire raw data set which is 47 41716 row items and filtered this exact condition now let me just change something here and let's say delete these things so the above row represents the criteria that we want to apply for a filter and below is where the output is uh, pasted okay now my criteria is only 2021 and uh, industry aggregation as level one okay no other criteria is mentioned now so i'm going to filter the data so if you see instantly it has given me the data for the entire 2021 where the industry aggregation is uh, level one now let me add one more criteria here or let's say uh, change this criteria to 2013 and filter data so it is working like a charm right it has filtered 574 row items from that entire 41,000 row records and it gives an amazing feature to your to the user of the report or the dashboard uh, by enabling them to have those filters in place whenever they want to apply and one one additional thing that you could do is right now i'm entering value manually you can have data validation placed here and you can, user can come here and there would be a drop down in place and they can just select the value from the drop down and then filter it out okay that is also a possibility now in case you want to have multiple um, values in a single column cri multiple criteria criteria in a single column then all you have to do is enter the value that you want uh, beneath the first one okay so 20 and this is the reason why I've kept so many blank rows in between. So first, if you see the first row for the criteria is B2, and then the data that we are pasting is in B15. So all these rows in between, we can have our criteria in place, right? If if we want. So now I'm gonna filter the data again. And if you see, it has now filtered to the 20 and 13 together. Both of this, for both of the data sets are here now. Wasn't that simple? And wasn't that so easy to implement? Uh, you know, I would love to hear from you in the comment section and tell me what else you 
you think can be done with this functionality and how can we implement this in other scenarios thank you so much i think that is it and uh, hope this was helpful please subscribe to the channel and this will really help me in bringing such quality content to youtube in future as well thank you so much stay tuned for more